Good evening. Victoria Martin's grandparents are defending the girl's mother, and they say they're being victimized all over again. News 13's Jessica Garate sat down with the family today on special assignment. She's live tonight in the Newsplex with our lead story. Jess? Aaron, John and Pat Martin say not only did they lose their granddaughter in a horrific killing, they also have the tough job of standing by their daughter accused of the murder. We were ticked off. We looked yeah. at each other. I said, so like, what, what the hell this? are they trying to do with it here? You know, this is unbelievable. This oh. is our granddaughter and our daughter. That's John and Pat Martins and their friend Laura Bob's reaction to this new political ad. Mommy, what happened to Victoria? Bad people hurt Victoria. Governor Martinez, this is your legacy. You aren't doing enough to save our kids. The ad blames CYFD and the governor for not helping prevent Victoria's murder. The 10 year old was murdered and raped a little more than a month ago. Police have charged her mother, Michelle, her boyfriend, Fabian Gonzalez, and his cousin, Jessica Kelly, for her murder. The organization that put this out has no heart or sympathy to use Victoria's murder and death to make a political point and gain when she is still with the medical examiner and we are still grieving and we have had no closure we think is horrific. They say the ad is not fair to Victoria or their daughter. Victoria's mommy was a bad person and let bad people hurt her. We they weren't there. They don't know her to make no. accusations like that. They don't know her like we How do. dare them. They don't know her like we do. No, they don't. And we know there's another side to her other than what's being depicted mm -hmm. of her. We That's know right. that. There is another side. That's right. They say the ad already convicts their daughter and they worry she'll never get a fair trial. They better yes. pull it. Yes, pull it. Why are you running that? It's not right. You know, our hearts, our thoughts and prayers really go out to the Martins family, and we don't want any other grandparents or moms or dads here in New Mexico to experience a similar tragedy like Victoria's, and that's why we ran the ad. We took the Martins' concerns to the people behind the ad, the Center for Civic Action, who says it's a nonpartisan organization. So the intent is to keep running those ads. We're going to continue to educate New Mexicans about critical issues. The ad cites KRQE on special assignment, where News 13 exposed CYFD had checked on Michelle Martins at least twice before Victoria's murder. The Martins say they knew about CYFD visiting Michelle's home, but they never told them or Michelle why. Anything. They indicated anything. They don't tell you they just, nothing. They told us nothing. They just said they needed, they needed to do a safety check. That was it. We can't discuss that with you. We can't discuss that with you right now. The Martins say Michelle took great care of Victoria and her younger brother. They would know because they had daily interaction with them. They retired here to help take care of the grandkids. We watch her all the time. I pick her up from the school bus if Michelle was working. And uh, we never noticed anything. She'd go to the park happy, making friends like that. Were there any red flags they may have missed? There's never any change of behavior, nothing. Never, you know, cuddling in the corner, never crying. Just normal kid stuff. So don't come pointing fingers at us saying it was our fault. You were the professionals. If you missed it, what made you think we, we were going to see it? Do you think for one minute we would have sat by and let this happen? Michelle Bartons had told police she had recruited men to have sex with her daughter. We asked the grandparents about Michelle, the disturbing details, if there was any drug use, and what she has told them from jail. That part of the interview coming up on KRQE News 13 next week. Aaron.